All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, uh, we're going to talk about Kadarius Toney um, because he's kind of been in the news recently, and um, I just wanted to touch upon that. Again, that's just another little storyline going into the Super Bowl. And Kadarius Toney actually made plays in last year's Super Bowl. I mean, he was a part of the punt return that set up a touchdown. I think it was his touchdown because uh, he scored a touchdown. Um so yeah, it made two. You know, those are two big plays in the Super Bowl. Those are big, and um, yeah. Since then, it's kind of been a downward spiral for him, because you go to Week One, you know, um, Mahomes throws him a pass that he doesn't catch. It gets hit up in the air. Brian Branch, the safety of the Lions, picks it off, runs it back for a touchdown. That's seven. That you know, if that doesn't happen. Um, you know, the Chiefs probably win that game. Then also, again, Mahomes, again, throws to him. He's wide open. He drops it. And, you know, he was the I, he was probably the biggest reason why the Chiefs didn't win that game, the first game of the year. Um, so that's another that, that's a win that the Chiefs should have had. Um, there's also, again, against the Patriots, a game they won that he, you know, Mahomes throws him a pass. He doesn't catch it. It gets picked off. And you can tell Mahomes is just visibly, you know, upset on the sideline about it. And also, he's a part of, you know, the play that really set Mahomes over the edge, and that was him lining off sides, clearly lining off sides. And, you know, they run that play. Kelsey catches it, laterals it back to Tony, and there's nobody there, and Tony, you know, runs it in for a touchdown, and you thought, okay, well, the Chiefs are going to win this game. Um, and I, you know, missed that whole sequence because I was I was out. And... Um, you know, then they obviously called offensive offsides. Mahomes is complaining about it. I mean, he's, you know, it looked like he wanted to fight the refs, slamming his helmet on the ground. I know, but listen, I, I get it why some people are just, you know, that's why some people have kind of been, I've kind of had it with Mahomes is that. But I also think it had to do with frustration with the receivers and like how they've been playing this year. Because, I mean, again, led the league in drops. And I think Mahomes, like, was holding all that in, and this kind of just, like, set him over the edge. So I think that was part of it. But, um, yeah, and now with Kadarius Tony, he just has not played. Now, he's claiming that he's been healthy. It's just the Chiefs have not activated him. Now, Andy Reid was, was asked about it in an interview, and, um, you know, they said, like, you know, he's on the injury report. We're going to see, you know, how he is, and then, you know, he'll be back. Something along the lines of that. But I don't know. Is he going to play in the Super Bowl? I have no idea. Um, but you know what? I think, uh, you know, part of the reason why the Chiefs have been able to win recently is because he hasn't been playing. I, I I believe that. You know, the Chiefs have been rolling. And you know what? Maybe you don't want a guy that, you know, has been a, uh, you know, been a problem this year when it comes to drops. Maybe you don't want him coming back. Because, uh, listen, I have no problem. I Listen, if I'm the Chiefs, I, uh, you know, I, I just, I don't even play him. I make him a healthy scratch. I'm trying to look for his injury history because I was looking at that last night because he has a ton of injuries over the years. Um, okay, well, this, okay, yeah, let's get to the NFL. Um, so, yeah, I mean, ankle injury, a lot of ankle injuries, shoulder, hamstring, a lot of hamstring injuries. Um, this year is like the ankle, I think ankle and shoulder, no. It's like ankle and, like, I don't know. It's, it's always just like, it, for the most part, it's leg injuries, even though I just said shoulder. But, yeah, it, it's an interesting situation with what's uh, going on there in, um, in Kansas City. But it's just, he's a guy that's been injured a lot. And then when he plays, it's just, you know, he, I mean, it, it's been a disaster. At least this year was a disaster. Um, you know, and, um, but he's claiming that he's healthy and that they're just not playing him. But you know what? I mean, there's been off the field stuff with him too. I mean, he's been getting in it with giant fans. You know, it's just, yeah, it. He's um. He's probably gonna find himself, you know, not being with the team after this year. I mean, the Chiefs are probably gonna move off of him, um, you know. And I remember on you know Kelsey's podcast, the Kelsey brothers podcast, the New Heights, um. You know, Kelsey was saying, I don't know what, saying that he didn't understand why the Giants got rid of him. Well, I think you understand now. I think you understand now. That's why the Giants got rid of him. And listen, he had that 
great game against the Cowboys. Yeah, I think he had almost 200 yards receiving. That was his rookie year. And he thought, man, this guy's going to be a good player. But uh, that was that, it was a downward spiral after that. Um, then it was like, then he had, a you know, like a few ga- good games with the Chiefs last year. Um, you know, and of course the Super Bowl. And you thought, okay, well maybe, you know, you know his trajectory is uh, going up now. Nope. Fell off a cliff. Fell off a cliff. And I don't know. I, I wouldn't play him in the Super Bowl. Why? Why would you? Because what what if like this game with the 49ers comes down to, you know, that last possession and Mahomes like, you know, is scrambling and he's got to look for somebody. He sees Tony, he throws it to Tony, and Tony, you know, bobbles it and it gets picked off by Fred Warner. And then you're like, oh no. I it, you, you just cannot they cannot let that happen. He is not he I, he will not play in the Super Bowl. He's not. They I mean Andy Reid can say whatever he wants that uh we're going to see how he go. No, you they are not they are not going to play him for this game. They're not. Cuz he has not helped them this year. He's hurt them. He he is one he is the direct cause of two losses. The offsides and the open and the uh and the week 1 game. Those are two more wins right there. So, and listen, and, and especially when the Chiefs got th- this momentum and how they've been playing, you know, in the playoffs, I mean, they look like a completely different team. And I think part of the reason is because that guy is not playing right now. So, he should be nowhere near the Super Bowl unless, you know, he's on the sidelines as a healthy scratch. Or, I mean, he's claiming that he's healthy. I don't know. I don't know. But should not play in this game. But, you know what? He's been a head case. He's been a head case. He was a head case with the Giants, and he's a head case with the Chiefs. So that's two chances right there. So I don't know if you're going to get another chance. You might be. Uh, you might have to play in the, um, you know, the UFL, which is starting uh, in the spring. So you know, and and I was talking, and I was talking about this with my uh, with my mom too. And it's like, why? It's like, why do some of these guys continue to act like this? You know, because if you act like this, you're not you're you're really gonna hurt your chances of getting another shot. And yeah, your behavior, your off the field behavior is gonna lead to that too. You know, you, and yeah, he was like Instagram living, and he was saying that he's healthy. You know, well, listen, maybe like if you were in a head case, and maybe like you know if you know drops weren't an issue for you, you know maybe um. You know, maybe it would be playing in some of these games. Maybe, I mean, it could be another, it could just be like a phantom thing where it's like he's not really, maybe he isn't hurt. Maybe they just don't want to play him. Honestly, I'm fine. I, I wouldn't play him. The way, the way the Chiefs have been playing, you want to bring him in, and like I just said, you know, I, and I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, the other thing too is they could just, or they could just activate him and not play him. Like he just is on the sidelines. Because that happens too, you know. I mean, they've used him on some running plays too, but you know he could fumble. And why? And why are you going to? Because you got Isaiah Pacheco, who's been running the football great for them, you know. Um, and you got Clyde Edwards-Helaire that can run the football too as a, as their backup. Um, you know, you don't you don't need Kadarius Tony. You don't you don't need him for this game. You don't. So, I don't know. It, it, it's it's something to keep an eye on, um, you know. But I I just thought it was interesting because. You know, he's claiming that he's healthy, but, you know, the Chiefs are saying, well, you're on the injury report, and they just have, you know. But if you would have just maybe played better, you know, then, um, you know, you, you you would be a part of this team. But you didn't. You were you were kind of responsible for two losses. So, and you could probably throw in another one in there, too. Um, but those are, those are the two biggest ones, is week one, and the Bills game where he lined up offsides. You don't do that, you know. And you and you catch that pass late in the game in Week One. I mean, Harrison Butker hasn't missed, except you know really once, and kind of needed him to hit that field goal because I needed to advance to my fantasy championship. I don't know how many times I mentioned that, but I'm still very bitter about it. Um, that that's a that's a loss that's going to haunt me for a long time. Is that if Butker kicks that field goal? against the Raiders on Christmas, and he makes it, I'm in the championship. And not only that, I win the championship, and I get my fourth ring. And I probably walk away. I say, you know what? going to retire on top. No, I don't know. Um, 
No, I love fantasy. I love fantasy and I hate fantasy. But, but um, yeah. I mean, that's a separate thing. But but anyways, that that's what happens. Is I you know I go off on tangents. But um, but yeah, with, with Kadarius Tony. I mean, I don't know what else is there to say. You know, um, you had your chance. You know, um, and for a lot of players, including him, you know, you don't really get that many chances. You know, and um, this could be it. So that's another guy that might have to adapt. Maybe say, you know what, I got to tone it down a little bit here because I might not get another chance. You know, but the other thing too is availability. You're, he is not available. He gets hurt every single year. How many? He gets hurt every year. That's the other thing. You keep getting hurt, you're not going to get a shot either. But that's a different thing. I mean, you know, but you could at least help the cause by not Instagram living that you're healthy and you're starting beef with the Chiefs. You start beef with the Chiefs. Different with the Giants. The Giants have been, you know, people call them a poverty franchise for the last 10 years. You know, it, maybe a little less than that. But it, but still, like, I mean, for me, ever since the Super Bowl, they're, they're, that's kind of where they are. But um, with a few outliers, outlier seasons. But now you're starting beef with the Chiefs, a team that goes to the, 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 the has been in the AFC Championship game now, six consecutive seasons, and you're going to start beef with them? Listen, if you can't make it with the Chiefs, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So, again, that's something to keep an eye on. But, um, yeah, uh, this could be uh, we, this could be it for Kadarius Tony. I mean, I don't, I don't think he's playing in the Super Bowl. But, I mean, even but even if he is, he could be active, let's say, but barely going to touch the field. You know, because uh, if he is. If they again, if they activate him, you know, if he if he is active, if he's not active, then you know. But what the Chiefs got going is, you know, they, they don't want him throwing a wrench in that because again, it's part of some uh, some bad losses for them this year. So, um, but yeah, that is uh, that's pretty much it for the show for today. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Obviously, we'll be back again tomorrow, ten thirty a.m. Eastern time. Um, so make sure to tune in, uh, you know, again, got some time before the Super Bowl, so it's just going to be Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. There's at least going to be, you know, one Super Bowl topic on the show, um, you know, and then it, it then after the Super Bowl, it's going to get tough because it's like, now what, you know, because then, uh, obviously there's some time before the draft and, you know, the schedule coming out and pre I mean, it, it's, well, free agency too. Don't forget about that. Um, you know, there, there's a lot. There's a lot that'll that'll be discussed throughout the off season, but um, you know there's going to be some times where it's going to be tough. So, you know we just got to be a uh, we just got to prepare for it. So, but let me know what you guys think about uh, this Kadarius Tony situation. Let me know what you guys think about all the topics that we discussed today. What are your thoughts? Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically pretty much it for the show. So, with that being said, uh, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by. The GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.